Today, I'm going to show you the 10 best builds to make for every position, play style, skill level, and game mode. I have guard builds, iso builds, center builds, lockdown builds, builds for competitive play, builds just for fun, builds to carry or play with randoms, and builds for all types of players. I'm also someone that you can trust considering I've been playing 2K for over a decade and hold a 90 plus win percent in every 2K, and I know the ins and outs of this builder. So drop a like for me putting y'all on and subscribe to the channel because over 80% of the people watching right now are not subscribed. So subscribe to help me get to that 1 million but anyways let's get started with the first build now as you can see i have a ton of builds on this game and i also have friends with a ton of builds on this game so every build i show in this video either i have personally played on or have a teammate that uses it so all of these builds have been used to win at a high level and a high rate of games. So we're going to start with guard builds. I'm going to have center builds as well and lockdown builds as well. So with the first guard build and with all builds, we're going to go with the left hand. Now you can go with right or left. It's literally your decision. It's just personal preference. It's not going to actually make your build better or worse. Same with jersey number as well. So let me go ahead and choose number one for D Rose. And anyways, we're going to be making our first guard build of the video. Now we're going to have short guards. We're going to have taller guards. We're going to have ISO build guards. But this guard's gonna be able to take screens and it's gonna be able to ISO. And it's gonna be 6'6. Six, 6'6 six. Six, six is really that meta for 2K24. And by the way, you can make this a point guard or a shooting guard. It's really up to you. Anyways, we're gonna be going with 6'6. Six, six. The weight, we're gonna be going with minimum weight so we can be as fast as possible. Now, with the wingspan, we're gonna go with 6'7 wingspan because this is the longest wingspan you can go with and still get a 93 three pointer. And you'll see why we want that 93 three pointer when we start upgrading this build. Now, let's get into the stats. Now, a lot of these 6'6 six, six meta builds that people use don't have a driving dunk and they have a standing dunk and have a driving layup for scoopers but this specific 6-6 build that i'm going to show you guys right here not only is going to have a driving dunk but it's going to have a contact dunk package as well so the first thing we're going to upgrade is driving dunk and we're going to put it to an 86 so put it to an 86 right there and then we're also going to get standing dunks we're going to get those two standing dunk animations with the 45 standing dunk rating and that's what we're going to have the finishing at for now but we're going to go down to the physicals right quick now i'm going to upgrade the speed to an 86 which is going to be right there and then i'm going to put the strength to a 45 because because this is the minimum amount of strength that we are needed to have clamps on a, at least bronze and then vertical we're going to put that to a 75 to get that silver post riser and then the stamina we're going to put it to a 99 because we are a guard we're going to be dribbling a lot we're going to have the ball in our hands a lot and we need to have stamina okay now you might be questioning the acceleration the reason why we're not going to be upgrading the acceleration anymore is because acceleration is really a stat that's needed for mostly small builds like 62 or 63 and the reason why we don't go too high on the acceleration is because there's not a big reason to upgrade acceleration past a badge point and what I mean by that is this build is going to get gold speed booster and we don't need acceleration any higher than this to get gold speed booster on this build now if you think your build's going to move too slow with this lower acceleration it's not i have plenty of builds with this low acceleration it moves the same it's been tested by 2k labs as well the only thing that's going to make your build move faster on offense is speed booster that's the only badge that gets affected by it and speed is how you move faster on defense and we have that upgraded so moving on to the defense we're going to be upgrading some defense attributes here now you cannot get anchor on six sixes so that's why i really don't like upgrading block on uh six six builds because not only is it expensive but you can't get the best badge that you get with upgrading block okay so we're gonna be upgrading the steel to a 91 which is actually very good steel is probably the best defensive attribute in the game and we're gonna be getting gold glove gold interceptor and gold right stick ripper with that now with the perter defense we're gonna be putting that to an 82 which is gonna give us bronze clamps bronze fast feet silver challenger which is important and of course gold off ball pets moving on to the playmaking badges we are going to be putting that ball handle to a 92, giving us gold handles for days, gold unpluckable, and silver killer combos, and gold ankle burger. And then speed with ball, of course, we need that at least at an 83 to get gold speed booster and gold hyperdrive. And just like that, this build is moving super fast 
at this 6-6 height. Now, when it comes to pass accuracy, we're going to have guard builds with low pass accuracy like this one and high pass accuracy like, like some other guard builds I'm going to be showing later in this video. But for this one, we're going to be going with this 63 pass accuracy. Why do I go 63 pass accuracy? 2K Labs did a, an official test and 63 pass accuracy is really that money spot where you can save attributes on pass accuracy and still get a certain speed on your passes that is playable. Now, trust me, I have plenty of builds with 63 pass accuracy for guards as well. They work fine. Obviously, they're not going to be the fastest passes in the world, but it's not something that I would actually worry about. And if you do, or if you are worried about, there's going to be other guard builds in this video with high pass accuracy. Now, moving on to the shooting, we're going to be going with that 93 three-pointer why do we go with a 93 three-pointer like i talked about with that wingspan that's where you get hall of fame open looks and trust me hall of fame open looks is one of the better shooting badges in this game it's actually very good we're also going to get silver limitless range silver agent threes gold blinders gold dead eye gold catch a shoot gold green machine gold space critter just a bunch of great shooting badges and just like that we are at a 98 overall now with this last upgrade you can do whatever you want with it if you want to upgrade this standing dunk the free throw, the interior defense, the block, the offense rebound, whatever you want. I'm going to put the free throw up a little bit. And there are going to be builds where I put free throw on them, builds where I don't put free throw on them in this video. And you could really, you know, free, free throw is a very easy stat to upgrade. So if I put something down one, I could get like plus 10 on free throw. So if you really want to adjust that because you play fives, then go ahead and adjust it. But anyways, this is the first build of the video. This 6-6 is looking amazing we have a dunk we have a three-pointer we have a ball handle we have a steal this build is a very good well-rounded six foot six build and that is going to give us the shot creating three level threat with comparisons of anthony simons De'Aaron fox and kenny smith and this build is one of the builds that i have that i use for threes and twos and trust me this build does some damage out there moving on to build number two now by the way with all these builds none of these are in order i'm just showing you like 10 best builds for every kind of play style position or whatever it's not like in order so this isn't like the ninth or second best build in the game i'm just showing you guys 10 builds okay anyways hand this it's your choice jersey number it's your choice and we're gonna be going with another six foot six guard build now there's obviously gonna be other heights in this video with guard builds but this is going to be the second and last 6-6 six, six we show in this video. So you're going to want to go 6-6. Six, six. Once again, you can go point guard or shooting guard. It's up to you. Whatever you prefer. Height, we're going to be going minimum weight so we can be as fast as possible. Now with the wingspan on this, this is going to be a more defensive-minded 6-6. Six, six. And we're not going to need as much of a three-pointer on this build. So we're actually going to be going 7 foot. Because we need at least an 87 three-pointer. And 7 foot is the longest wingspan we can go while still getting that 87 three-pointer. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue. And we're going to start with these stats. Now, the last 6-6 six -six I showed had a driving dunk. This one is going to be like more of the meta 6-6s. Six and it's not going to have a driving dunk. But it's going to have a couple things upgraded that you should be interested in. So, standing dunk is going to be a 73. Standing dunks are very good in 2K24. And 73 is going to unlock you a couple different animations. And it's also going to give you bronze precision dunker and bronze fast twitch. But not only that, a lot of people don't know this little tip I'm going to show you. But you need at least a 36 driving dunk to really get those animations where you drive to the basket and get standing dunks animated almost every single time you go into the paint and hold x and a lot of people don't know that and they don't upgrade their driving dunk to a 36 it's something super random it's something that a lot of pro-am players professional players found out in the builder while testing out builds and stuff so yeah if you get your driving dunk to a 36 with a higher standing dunk these standing dunk animations activate like almost every time you go in the paint and a lot more often so that is a tip for you guys for any builds that you make in 2k24 so yes you want that driving dunk to be at a 36 after upgrading that standing dunk to a 73 and then we want the driving layup to go ahead and go to a 74 so we can get giant slayer on gold because we're going to be doing scoop layups as well which is by the way we have scooper on silver and we're going to need to you know get them green layups over those taller defenders okay now that's going to be it for the finishing probably the weakest point of this build but still good like we don't have a driving dunk but we get those standing dunks we get those layups we're good to go with that now with the shooting we're going to start with the three-pointer and we're going to go with an 87 three-pointer this is still enough to get bronze limitless range it gives us that gold space creator and a lot of the silver and gold important shooting badges in 2k24 and an 87 three-pointer is pretty dangerous in this game and we're also going to upgrade the free throw later on this build but i'm going to hold it right here at a 62 for now moving on to the playmaking now pass accuracy is going to be a 77 that's going to give us 
uh, needle threader. That's going to give us silver dimer, and it's going to unlock a couple different passing styles in the animations. Not only that, we're going to be maxing the ball handle to a 93, getting Hall of Fame ankle breaker, gold killer combos, and gold unpluckable. And then we're going to get the speed ball to an 83, which is the minimum needed to get that gold speed booster. It's not showing up on the side right now because we haven't upgraded our um, physicals yet. But yeah, we're going to get gold speed booster and gold hyperdrive. Now with the defense, like I said, this build is going to be a little more defensive minded than the other 6'6". It has the longer wingspan and it's going to get a 94 perimeter defense. Why is a 94 perimeter defense so good? Well, that's going to give us Hall of Fame Challenger and Hall of Fame off ball pest gold pick dodger and hall of fame angle braces most importantly hall of fame challenger that's going to give you a lot more contests it's one of the better defensive badges in this game not only that we're going to be getting a 91 steal which is going to give us gold glove gold interceptor and gold right stick river so the defense on this build is insane as best as it's going to get for a six foot six guard build because as you guys know six sixes cannot get anchor and block is expensive in the builders. So I don't like upgrading. Like I said earlier, I don't like upgrading block on 6.6s six if we're not going to get the best blocking badge in the game. Okay. Anyways, moving on to the physicals, we're going to get that 86 speed. We're going to go ahead and get that 55 strength for the gold clamps and the bronze fearless finisher. We're going to go with the 60 uh, vertical to get the bronze rise up and bronze aerial wizard. And we're going to get that 99 stamina because we're a guard. We need as much stamina as possible. And that's going to leave us in Hall of Fame 94 feet, Hall of Fame workhorse, and going to help us get that gold handles for days. As you can see, we're still a 97 overall. So we have a lot of extra attributes to upgrade here. Now, honestly, if you want to, you can upgrade the pass accuracy more. Maybe you want the mid range. Maybe you want more standing dunk. You're not going to get anything off the driving dunk. You're not going to get a block with these, you know, a couple ratings left. But what we are going to do is make this 6'6 a little more lethal by giving it more badges through acceleration. So if we upgrade our acceleration to an 84, that is going to give us gold blow by, gold fast feet, gold triple strike, gold slippery off ball, and gold spot finder, making this build insane off the ball, a better defender, and also it's going to get more blow by animations to get more scoop layups. And now we're at 98 overall, and if you want to play fives on this build, you can upgrade the free throw, which is what I'm going to do. If you don't do that, you can upgrade somewhere else, but you can get, yes, an 80 free throw for the silver free points. And look at this build. I mean, this build is insane. If you were complaining about the acceleration in the last 6-6, six, six, then this is probably the one that you want to go with. We get the higher pass sack. We get the higher acceleration. We get a good three-pointer. We get elite defense, and we get the finishing needed to finish in 2K24, and you're a little bit stronger on this build. This 6-6 six, six is an elite 6-6. Six, six. A 6'6 six, six that is used by a lot of competitive players in 2K24. And that is going to come out to comparisons of Kirk Heinrich, CJ McCollum, and Lonzo Ball. And it's going to give you the two-way three-point shot creator. Drop a like if y'all mess with this build. Build number three. And once again, these builds are not in order. I'm just showing 10 great builds to make. Anyways, we're making another guard. Now, this could be a point guard. This could be a shooting guard. This could even be a small four, depending on what game modes you are playing. I use this build as a point guard. It is a taller point guard build. It is an ISO build. And this build has a very high pass accuracy. A lot of other high stats. This is probably my favorite build in the game. Probably, in my opinion, the best build in the game. Also, the most fun build in the game. Um, and this is going to be the two-way hero build. So let's go ahead and make it a point guard once again. Go whatever position you want. You want to go six foot eight. This is actually the tallest height you can possibly go for a point guard and then with the weight you want to go 219 pounds why 219 pounds because that is the highest weight you can go and still get uh 80 or it's the lowest weight you can go and still get 84 pounds or not 84 pounds 84 strength which is what we're going to need on this build while having maximum wingspan because yes you are going to have max wingspan on this build which is definitely insane okay it helps this build a lot and you're going to see why when we upgrade the stats so let's go ahead and continue and start upgrading these stats the first thing we are going to do is upgrade this driving dunk to a 94 yeah a 94 we are going to get every single contact dunk in the game out of 6 8 height except for one of them and the reason why we don't get that last one is because it's just way too expensive. It would just ruin the rest of the build. But anyways, 94 driving dunk. Uh, this build is crazy. I spam the dunk meter. I get crazy contact dunks with this build. 
It's one of my favorite builds I have. We're gonna go with a 45 standing dunk just to get those two standing dunk animations. And that's gonna be it for the finishing. We're gonna get Hall of Fame Slithery once we get the vertical upgrade. We're gonna have Gold Post Riser, Hall of Fame Bunny, Gold Precision Dunker. The build is absolutely insane, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the shooting. Now the shooting, we're just gonna max the three-pointer. Now technically, yes, I could put the three-pointer to a 76 and not lose any badges because I'm gonna have an 84 uh, mid-range but we're gonna go ahead and just you know say no we're gonna get we're gonna get the max the three-pointer just to have the rating okay it's it, we're not gonna be missing out on any other attributes really as well so we may as well go ahead and do that also there's not a really a big reason to go 85 mid-range there's not even a single badge you get with that so we're not gonna go 85 mid-range we're just gonna go 78 three-pointer 84 mid-range 84 mid-range is gonna help us get that gold mini magician and midi magician is a very good shooting badge it's gonna help us get takeover we want to shoot a midi or two uh, yeah it's gonna be very useful in your gameplay anyways moving on to the playmaking oh my gosh 89 pass accuracy y'all it gets crazy this build another reason why it's so good at ice wing 89 pass accuracy you could the so a defender could be like a little far away from your uh teammate and you could just dot them and by the time the ball gets there They'll have no clue you even pass the ball. You're going to be using Tyrese Halliburton passing style. It's super fast. You get bailout on this build. You even get gold dime or even some other good badges like silver needle threader, gold break starter, all that good stuff. Anyways, the ball handle, we're going to max out in 85, giving us silver unpluckable and gold ankle breaker. And speed with ball, we're going to go with a 75. There's no point of going past 75 because we're just doing this for the animations and for the badges. And that 75 speed ball is going to help us get that silver speed booster, which is the max you can get on a 6.8. And it's going to give us that Magic Johnson dribble style, which is a very good dribble style for 6.8. It's actually the tallest height you can go and still get 75 speed ball, which is Magic Johnson's dribble style. Anyways, with the defense, you're probably thinking, okay, you have a 94 driving dunk. You have crazy high playmaking. You have your shooting basically maxed for this build. There's no way this build has defense too. Well, it does. 85 perimeter defense going to give us silver clamps and silver challenger and an 85 steel giving us silver glove, silver interceptor and silver right stick ripper. And yeah, we're not going to have a block. Now I do have other versions of this 6-8 build with a block, uh, with a, you know, a little lower pass accuracy with, you know, higher mid range to get T-Mac. If you guys want to look at those other versions of this build, go watch my two-way hero build. But anyways, this is the best version, I think, um, for this build. Anyways, that's going to be it for the defense. So it doesn't have a block on this build. Block is just too expensive to afford all these other stats. Uh, then we're going to go move on to the uh, physicals, maxing the speed at 82, giving us the silver hyperdrive and the silver speed booster. And then we're going to be putting the strength to an 84 which is going to give us hall of fame physical handles silver movable forcer the bronze fearless finisher silver bulldozer it makes the and you also unlock a crazy amount of uh physical what is it the body types you get burly you get large with this strength upgraded and the combined with the weight uh vertical we're going 82 to get some of those contact dunk animations stamina we're going 98 just to max out helping us get silver workhorse silver 94 feet and silver handles for days but not only that but not only that we're going to be putting the acceleration to a 73 which is going to help us get a lot of these silver badges in this category and just like that in my opinion the most fun build in the game the bet one of the best builds in the game uh this build right here this is the build i've used on wagers this year it's a crazy fun build okay you whether you want to iso take screens you want to play twos threes whatever this build can get it done we're gonna upgrade the free throw with the last attribute now you could adjust it to your liking maybe you want to hire a free throw if you play fives or whatever you can you know maybe put down the perimeter defense to an 82 and upgrade the free throw but anyways these are the final stats that we are going to be going with i mean these stats are crazy bro this build is still crazy looking at it. i made this build months ago and it's still crazy to look at this build because it is really that insane and this is going to give us shades of Penny hardaway lonzo ball and lamello ball I mean, it don't get more point four than that, right? And we're going to be getting the diming three level threat build for build number three. Drop a like on this video if you like this build. Build number four. Once again, these builds are not in any kind of order, but build number four, we're going to be moving on to some of the shorter guard builds before we move on to the lockdown and center builds. And just a quick warning. I mean, we've already went over six sixes and six eights. These shorter guard builds are more i would say for competitive play uh when it comes to fives and 3v3 i would not use these builds 
for 2v2. I'm about to show you two shorter guard builds, so that's why I'm saying these builds. And uh, yeah, because they're going to have very low defense and you're going to need to be relying on a lockdown to guard ball and you're going to be guarding corner. OK, now a lot of people like to say that these builds don't work. Well, this specific build I'm about to show you right here. Um, I actually played with a friend that uses this build and we went on a 126 game win streak with this build on the 3v3 court. So it definitely works. You just have to know how to use it. Okay, so this is for more, I would say, for my competitive players watching the video. So yeah, we're going to be going 6-3. The other one that I'm going to be showing you is going to be 6-2. Uh, default weight. You want to go one above the default wingspan because we don't need the 93 three-pointer. We need a 92. And this is the maximum wingspan you can go while still getting a 92 three-pointer. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be an offense of heavy point guards. So we're going to start by getting a 94 driving dunk, which is insane for 6-3. Like, you're going to be able to use the dunk meter. You're going to be able to go crazy with that standing dunk. 45 to get the standing dunk animations and just like that we have hall of fame slithery when we upgrade the vertical gold posterizer hall of fame bunny some crazy stats already right uh we're gonna go with a 75 layup as well and then when we go to the shooting we're gonna be maxing that three-pointer to a 92 give me a silver limitless crazy amount of good shooting badges and wow yeah this build is already looking a little crazy right like we have a hot the highest driving dunk you can have on this build highest three-pointer you can have as well basically and uh, we're gonna move on to the playmaking now and the playmaking you thought the the finishing and the shooting was crazy but when i said this build was an offensive minded point i mean it really is 95 ball handle not only that we're gonna be getting kyrie irving and michael jordan dribble style depending on which one you want to use 90 speed with ball and we're gonna have a pass accuracy at 75 pass act giving us silver dimer this is gonna also give us uh gold speed booster gold unpluckable hall of fame ankle breaker <sighs> it's getting crazy okay now we're also going to put the perimeter defense to a 58 just to get bronze off ball pest like i said this build's going to be used for 5v5 and 3v3 modes and it's going to be guarding the corner so at least having off ball pest on something is going to help you just like kind of make that backdoor cut a little slower if you may okay so we're going to go with 86 speed as well to get that gold speed booster uh and then we're going to be going with a 82 vertical to get those contact dunks and then we're going to be going with a 99 stamina and just like that we have our build okay now there's we're at a 98 overall now there are a couple things that you could adjust if you want if you don't want to get that Kyrie Irving or Michael Jordan dribble style you can put the speed ball down and upgrade the acceleration okay to get the blow by higher you know some of the off ball badges higher um once again these builds are not meant for defense you know a lot of people that are going to be watching this build video be like where's the defense with it you're six three or six two okay you're not going to be playing defense against six sixes or six eights they're just going to make the shot over you regardless okay now once again these are three v three five v five you want a guard build for two v two or you want a guard build that plays defense well, you missed four of them that we just showed okay so go look at the other builds i already showed in the video now with this last stat you can do whatever you want with it you can just upgrade the free throw and the standing dunk once again if you want to play fives with this build i would recommend you know putting the perimeter defense down a little bit maybe putting down another like maybe like layup or something and then put the free throw up like for example you could probably get away with that anyways and not, not only that this build gets hall of fame handles for days as well not a very common badge for guard builds but anyways these are the final stats we are going with for this 6-3 build i'm going to be having another short guard build with a high acceleration that i'm going to show in a second that just doesn't have a dunk this is one of those shorter guard builds that if you want the high driving dunk you go with this one okay now it's comparisons of damian lillard anthony simons and kenny smith giving us the floor spacing slasher and like i said this build has been proven to work okay there's competitive pro-am players that use this build at the highest level i had a teammate that i played with that we went on a 126 game win streak in the park with this build so yes this build can work in all game modes as long as it's 3v3 or 5v5 if you know how to use it so if you don't know how to use it if you're not elite on offense then i wouldn't recommend making this build because the defense is not going to be there but anyways let me know for any of my competitive offensive scores that like to play with lockdowns that are playing threes or fives let me know if you like this build drop a like on the video if you do build number five now once again none of these builds are in order okay so we're just showing you the 10 best builds now this is gonna be a, our last guard build of the video we showed guards builds with defense we showed guard builds that are taller shorter whatever this is gonna be our last short guard build once again it's not gonna be having defense on it so if you want a defensive guard go look at one of the other builds in the video this is one of those builds that's going to be for 3v3 5v5 competitive situations okay so keep that in mind we're going to be going six foot two with this one 
to go 165 pounds minimum weight to be as fast as possible and we're going to be going 6-4 wingspan because we want that 97 three-pointer and the longest wingspan you can go while still having a 97 three-pointer is six foot four okay so that's what we're going to be going with with that now this build is pretty crazy okay this is more of like a higher three-pointer little higher playmaking and high acceleration not really looking to dunk the ball with the dunk meter but just crazy offense still as well okay so we're going to be going with a 65 driving dunk so you're still going to get some animations you're still going to be able to dunk the ball okay uh we're going to be going with a 45 standing dunk just to get those standing dunk animations and then we're going to be going with a 75 layup to get that gold giant slayer or 74 layup to get that gold giant slayer because we're going to be short okay and we want to finish finish over the defenders that are swinging out the corner and stuff and that's what we're going to need okay moving on to the shooting after the you know the finishing it's there you know it's not like it's it's not elite but you can finish at the rack okay at six two then with the shooting we're gonna be going with a 97 three-pointer yeah 97 three-pointer giving us hall of fame blinders gold limitless range hall of fame green machine hall of fame guard up hall of fame catch shoot hall of fame open looks hall of fame corner specialist a ton of hall of fame shooting batteries right and still getting gold agent threes and gold dead eye and gold limitless range okay then we're going to be going to, the, to that mid-range going to an 84 mid-range just to get that gold mini magician why not we're already so close why not just get it right quick and we're going to be upgrading the free throw later on in this build but we're not going to touch it yet moving on to the playmaking like i said this is an offensive minded point guard so it's not going to have defense it's a short build that is made for threes and fives so once again if your defense if your offense isn't elite in this game if you're a newer player then i wouldn't recommend making these shorter guard builds if you want to make a guard build Go make the six sixes or the six eight that I showed. That's more of like an all around build that can, you know, do everything. That's a good build to start your journey on 2K. Anyways, we're going to be upgrading the ball handle to a 95, helping us get gold speed booster, gold unpuckable, gold killer combos, Hall of Fame handles for days as well. Speed with ball is going to be a 91, okay? 91 speed with ball, which is going to help us get that gold speed booster. We're actually going to be. You could actually get Hall of Fame uh, speed booster on this build, and we might. You know, it's, it's gonna be crazy if we get that. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. And then what you're gonna do with the pass accuracy is put the pass accuracy to a 77. It's gonna unlock some other animations, give you silver dimer as well. Pretty solid pass accuracy right there. And then when it comes to the perimeter defense, for now we're gonna put it to a 58 just for that bronze off ball pass. Because once again, this build is for threes and fives. So we're going to be guarding the corner and yeah, our defense is going to be terrible. Yeah, but that's why we're guarding the corner and the bronze off ball pest is going to help make that back door at least a little slower to allow help to come over. OK, and then what we're going to do is put that stamina to a 99, which is going to help us get that Hall of Fame handles for days. And we're a guard. We need that. We need we need that, you know, stamina. OK, we're going to be dribbling the ball a lot. It's very important to us. Then with the speed, we're going to be going with a 92 speed to give us hall of fame speed booster so not only is this build very offensive heavy you know it has high playmaking high shooting and good finishing but it gets hall of fame speed booster and hall of fame handles for days and hall of fame hyper drive hall of fame ankle breaker i mean this is a pretty crazy build okay not only that then we're going to be upgrading the acceleration to an 81 which is going to help us get that gold spot finder and gold triple strike now if you want the acceleration to go even higher to be honest you could lower the speed a little bit you know maybe to like a 90 and then upgrade the acceleration to like an 85 you can do with that what you may you know adjust the build to your liking you know what i'm saying the last thing i'm going to do as a 98 overall is just upgrade the free throw to an 82 and that is going to be the 99 overall of this build. Once again, another short guard build with no defense. If you want a guard build with defense, don't make a short build and go look at my six sixes and my six eights earlier in the video. This is more for players that are, are elite at offense in this game and that play 3v3 or 5v5 at a competitive level, or at least, you know, are very experienced when it comes to playing 2k but yeah this build is pretty crazy we're gonna go ahead and move on this is the 6-2 build i would go with a hall of fame speed booster is hard to get in this build and we get that and gold limitless range and hall of fame blinders comparisons to trey on gaming lillard to kenny smith literally perfect comparisons and that is going to give us the three point shot hunter this build <laughs> is dangerous on them three three five five core it's going to be def i mean it's literally has the perfect building three point shot hunter. that's what it's going to do it's going to hunt threes Anyways, if you're a competitive 3v3 or 5v5 player, 
let me know if you like this build drop a like if you do build number six and finally we're done with those guard builds we're moving on to the center builds and honestly this is i'm kind of excited because i never really to make a, i never really get to make a lot of center builds on my channel and i love making center builds because i feel like i know a lot of things that some centers just don't think about or don't know in the builder okay so i'm gonna help y'all centers out we have three different center builds to show y'all today um so, so two of them i actually have used i just don't be using them in videos really because i do like playing center in my off time okay now you can go whatever hand you want jersey number whatever you want okay it's build number six once again these builds are not in any time though type of order okay but yeah you can really go you for this one i like i usually say in these other builds like you can go with whatever position you want right but for this one you have to go center because power forward doesn't have a max height uh that it doesn't reach a, a, a tall enough height for this build so you have to go center okay we're gonna be going seven foot one with this center build okay so seven foot one this build's gonna be very good for 5v5 uh rec pro-am can play threes as well and it's a very versatile build tip number one i'm gonna be giving a lot of tips out here for y'all centers for these taller center builds you don't need as much strength and what i mean by that is what do you upgrade strength for you upgrade it to get bigger screens you know better box outs flip box outs as well you know all the usual strength stuff for these centers right something that some of y'all might not know is these taller center builds in the game already have an advantage of that they're already going to set bigger screens regardless of their strength rating than the smaller centers they're already going to get better box outs they're already going to be able to flip box outs easier so that's why i'm going to be only going with an 84 strength on this specific build some of y'all might think that's kind of crazy some of y'all centers might think that's crazy trust me it's not crazy you're going to see how much more versatile your center build gets when you do realize you don't need to go 90 strength on these taller center builds because it's just not going to help you nearly as much as you think it does. And 99 strength is just way too expensive. You're going 99 strength on a seven foot or taller center build. You're just wasting attributes at that point. Anyways, so we're going to get to the build. We're going to have to go 237 pounds because that's the minimum. Or that's the maximum weight you can go while still getting in it, or minimum weight you can go in while still getting a 84 strength. And we're going to go seven foot nine wingspan because we want that 76 three pointer. And that is the highest wingspan we can go while still getting that 76 three pointer. OK, and honestly, we could go a little lower weight, like 236, but it doesn't help us in speed and acceleration wise. So we're just going to go a pound heavier, 237 pounds. And some of y'all are probably like, OK, the 84 strength and you're probably a little iffy about it. I have other center builds in this video that are going to have a higher than an 84 strength. But anyways, I, I just I really think y'all need to listen to me on this. The taller center builds are not going to be affected by lower strength. You don't need a higher strength on these tall center builds. They're already going to have that physical advantage with their just their height okay, and their wingspan. Okay, You're going to still set crazy big screens. You're not going to get your box out broken because you have an 84 strength instead of a 90 strength. Okay, just Trust me on this. Okay. So we're gonna start with the stats my favorite part about these center builds because i feel like i just i got some tips for some of y'all okay that don't be doing this a 95 percent one of the tips i'm going to show y'all 95 percent of centers don't be doing it and if you do do it let me know in the comments because you're you're a w bro you've been you've been having the advantage all these years okay that some of these center builds just some of these centers just don't do right, anyways we're gonna start with the driving dunk 65 driving dunk this is gonna be enough to get some animations gonna be enough to get some really good dunk packages on slips and cuts and at seven foot with seven nine wingspan these dunks are gonna be looking crazy on you okay then we're gonna be going 90 standing dunk this is enough to start using the dunk meter under there i would start you're learning how to use the dunk meter for these standing dunks because it's crazy with the 90 standing dunk okay you're gonna be able to get gold precision dunker with that as well the post up offense is gonna be crazy with that standing dunk at a 90. then to make the post off uh, post up offense even better 81 post control when i said that lowering the strength to an 81 makes this build more versatile i really meant it this build is gonna be able to do everything a 7 1 could possibly do. This is gonna give you gold post spin technician. Then we're gonna upgrade the close shot. A lot of these centers don't upgrade their close shot at all. That is insane. You have to at least upgrade it to something. We're gonna go with a 71 to help us get some of these post up badges. Now, before I talk about some of these post up badges, we're gonna go move on to the shooting because the shooting actually helps these post up badges. Three pointers going to a 76, mid range going to an 82. That's gonna be maximum on the three pointer in the mid range. So look at our post up badges gold post fade phenom gold dream shake silver midi magician okay not only that silver drop stepper gold hook or silver hook specialist gold post spin technician bronze unpluckable silver fast twitch gold precision dunker this build is gonna be able to post up with no problem okay bronze uh masher as well bronze whistle not only that has very good shooting badges look at these shooting badges for a seven foot one build we get silver green machine gold catch a shoot bronze dead eye bronze blinders silver open looks gold guard up we get some very good shooting badges not only that we're gonna be upgrading a free throw on this build 
course, some of these center builds are going to be using the fives, especially a seven foot one center. So we need that 82 free throw, which should be more than enough to shoot free throws. Moving on to the playmaking now. Once again, when I said this center build is going to be versatile because we're going 84 strength instead of 90. It really is, okay? We have crazy good finishing. We have crazy good shooting. This is when the build gets a little glitchy. glitchy. We're gonna go 77 pass accuracy. So some other center build is gonna be higher than this 77 pass accuracy, but this gets the job done. Silver dimer, silver break starter. But this is when the build gets a little glitchy. So I'm gonna go down here, put the acceleration to a 48 just for now. We're gonna put the ball handle to a 60, which is the max ball handle you can get on 71. Might give you a couple extra dribble moves as well. Dribble style or two, right? Uh, speed with ball is going to be a 40 and that's going to give you bronze big driver. You don't know what bronze big driver is basically quick first step. And on these seven foot one builds, it's not very common to see builds at this height with that badge and we get bronze applicable. So if you learn how to use some of these low ball handle drill moves or default drill moves with this bronze big driver and bronze unpluggable, you're going to be able to get a little, a little crazy with it, with this seven one build, because it's already going to be able to shoot over people. So if you can create even just a little space with this build, with the 7-9 wingspan as well, it's going to get glitchy. It's going to be a lot more fun with this 60 ball handle, 40 speed ball as well. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, moving on to the defense, you're probably like, Double H, how are you going to get elite defense? But you basically maxed out all your shooting, maxed out a lot of, uh, even some of your playmaking stats, and upgraded a lot of your finishing stats. Well, you're going to see right here. So first of all, we're going to put that steel to a 60. Why? Because we want that only steel badge we can get on a 7-1 which is bronze interceptor it's an absolute must you want to read lanes right anyways perimeter defense we're not going to max it to a 66 but we are going to put it to a 65 just for that rating i actually can't even go to a 66 but yeah we're gonna get that 65 perimeter defense and help us get that bronze off ball pest but i mean we're just doing this for the rating we have a 79 wingspan so we're just going to get more contests if we upgrade this to a 65 okay now with the block this is another tip i'm going to have for my centers do not go past an 87 block Hall of Fame Anchor is just too expensive. And then Gold Anchor and Silver Anchor, 2K Labs has already done a test on this. There's not really a big difference. And I have a center belt with a 92 block with the Gold Anchor. I don't get any more blocks than I do with my Silver Anchor. So do not waste attributes going to that Gold Anchor. I know a lot of y'all probably do do that because it just feels like you need to have a higher block than most builds and go with that Gold Anchor. Don't do it, okay? You're fine with the 87 blocks. Save your attributes for another stat. Go 87 block. You need at least a 72 interior to get that silver anchor. But I'm going to go above and beyond with the interior defense. And we're actually going to go with an 82 interior defense, which is going to help us get that post lockdown once we upgrade our strength a little bit. And it's just going to give us more contest in the paint, maybe some more block animations as well. So yeah, 82 interior defense. Right now, the defense is looking insane. Now, this is the biggest tip I'm going to have for y'all centers out there that 95% of centers don't do. And I'm sure some centers do do that are watching this video. And shout out to y'all because y'all are having a huge advantage while doing this. Do not upgrade your defensive rebound higher than your offensive rebound. It's just simple thinking, okay? When you're on defense, you're guarding the you're in between the basket and the offensive player so you're most likely than not going to have the box out unless they flip the box out which is a you know that's a whole other issue in its own so you don't need the defensive rebound to be a crazy high rating because you don't need these crazy insane rebound animations and that's what upgrading your rebound does by the way the only thing that upgrading your rebound does is gives you rebound badges and gives you insane jump animations for rebounds, by the way, okay? So you don't need those jump animations on your defensive rebound if you're gonna have box out 90% of the time, right? So as long as, you know how to, as long as you know how to box out, you have the box out beast badge, and you know how to grab a rebound, which is just click a button, then you don't need your defensive rebound that high, okay? Now, what you need to do is upgrade your offensive rebound higher. And the reason why you need to do that is because most of the time on offense, you're not going to have the box out, okay? Unless you flip the box out, which is not going to happen most times. You want So you want that offensive rebound rating to be higher because that's where you get those crazy leap animations where you jump and get this crazy rebound animation where you do end up getting the offensive rebound. And those animations are only useful when you don't have box out. So why do you want the rebound? on the offense to be higher than the defensive rebound rating because once you reach that badge rating you don't there's nothing else to upgrade the rebound for except for those crazy leap animations which are only going to be needed on the offensive side of rebounding the ball so that's why we're going to go with the offensive rebound to 92 because that gives us the goal rebound chaser now after this we don't need to upgrade the defensive rebound anymore we already get the badges we need but i'm going to put it to an 84 just for the rating's sake anyways if you don't understand what i said by that 
then uh you know it is what it is we'll try to re-listen if you disagree you won't then you're gonna be at a disadvantage uh because i'm telling you right now the offensive round higher is insane okay now this build is also at the 84 strength so we want a lo lower weight which means we're gonna be faster than most 71 builds so we're gonna have a 63 speed we're also gonna have an 84 strength we could go 85 but there's literally not a singular reason to do that it's gonna give us gold box out beast still so we can still get gold box out beast and we can still get gold rebound chaser so we're looking fine right there and then with the vertical now with the vertical yes we're gonna get that pogo stick we're gonna get rise up we're gonna get chase down artists we're gonna get these baddies upgraded but i want my vertical to be as high as possible because not only do i want these rebound animations to be crazy with my offensive rebound but i want my vertical to be as high as possible to help those rebounds and blocks so we're gonna go with an 80 vertical which is almost max you can go 81 that's the max you can go on this but i don't want to do that we're gonna go with uh the 80 okay to save a couple attributes that we're gonna need here so 80 vertical giving us gold pogo stick gold rise of gold arrow wizard and silver chase down artist and then with the stamina we're gonna be going with a 98 stamina finishing out this seven foot one versatile big this build looks insane i could yap all day about how insane these stats are but this is the best seven foot one popper in the game i mean it can literally do everything you can adjust it to your liking if you don't like something lower it you know higher something else but yeah this is what i would go with the baddies are genuinely insane on this build as well there's nothing in my opinion there's not a single thing missing on this build there's nothing there's literally nothing missing in my opinion on this build anyways we're gonna go ahead move on show y'all the build name and the shades are pretty crazy as well we're gonna get shades of david robinson Nurkic and DeAndre Aiden. I mean, David Robinson is literally perfect. Seven foot one, you know, popper. It's a mid range threat build. Pretty good build name as well. This is the perfect tall popper build for the all centers out there. Drop a like on the video if you like this build. Build number seven, another center build. Once again, these builds are not in any type of order. We're going with another taller center build. Then I'm going to have a shorter center build for, you know, more of like a threes, twos thing. Uh, not that you can't use these other centers on threes and twos, but this is going to be a center that's going to be a dog for fives, especially if you play rec with randoms. That seven foot one build is going to be good for that. But this center build right here is going to be very good with rec with randoms. Like you're going to be dominating every single game you play with rec randoms with uh, if you play a lot of rec randoms. Okay, so anyways, we're going to start by going center because you can you have to go center. The power four doesn't have a tall enough height to get this height on which is going to be 73 we're going to be going 73 on this center build now once again i already explained the in full detail on my on the last build we just went over why you don't need a higher strength on these taller centers if you are going a 99 strength on the 73 you are wasting attributes you do not need a 99 strength on a 73 let alone a 90 strength i think all you need is an 84 strength i have a 73 with a 90 strength it is not needed okay all you need is the 84 strength because you're already going to get the physical advantage with your taller build and your taller and your longer wingspan in the game that the strength would end up giving you okay so you're going to save a lot of attributes that's going to make your build 10 times better overall okay so we're going to be going to actually before we have do the weight we're going to do the wingspan which is going to be max wingspan this is the longest wingspan you even get in the game eight foot long wingspan and then with the weight, we're going to go with 246 pounds because this is the lowest weight you can go at an 84 strength. Not only that, this is going to be like the fastest 7.3 you can possibly make that has strength. 50 speed on a 7.3 is, it might seem slow, but for a 7.3 in this game, that's pretty fast. Then we're going to go into the attributes. Now these 7.3s can get very expensive very fast. What I mean by that is a lot of attributes cost way more on 7.3s than they would on normal builds because they know, the game knows you want to upgrade them. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get an 83 standing dunk to get those standing dunk badges get those animations as well we're also going to get a 75 post control just so we can have some kind of post up game as a 73 silver drops to, for bronze unpluckable as well we're also going to put the driving dunk to a 55 just so we can get some of those dunk animations and to help us you know dunk the ball better and faster on those slips that we do as a 73 because as a 73 we're going to be pretty slow then the close shot is going to be a 71 just to get the bronze masher the silver hook specialist and a couple other of those badges now the finishing isn't as good as it was on our 7-1 but you're going to see why because this build is just going to be so much more dominant in other ways okay and it's 7-3 with max wingspan okay so this is what the finishings look like if you want to increase the finishing that's fine i have a 7-3 with a 90 standing dunk to be honest it's not really needed as much as i thought and that same 7-3 i had didn't have as high as driving dunk post control and close shot so honestly i think this is the best way to go when it comes to the 7-3 now with the shooting some of these shooting stats are just going to automatically upgrade, but we're not going to be a 7-3 popper. It's going to be too expensive. You can make a 7-3 popper, but you're going to have so much other holes 
in your build if you do that so we're gonna be more of an inside center that's just very dominant when it comes to rebounds passing the ball and finishing but we're gonna need a free throw and free throws honestly so, this is the most expensive i've seen free throw on any build For some reason they make it a little expensive on seven threes but we're gonna go with the 72 free throw if you want to make it higher you can go ahead and make it higher but for me 72 free throw is more than enough to make a free throw uh pass accuracy moving on to the playmaking 86 pass accuracy this is gonna give you that goal break starter which honestly is all you need you don't need to go hall of fame break starter if you want to go up and beyond with that go ahead and do so but all you need is 86 that's going to give you some good passing animations passing styles you're going to get the gold break star or style the silver dimer the silver needle threader so yeah, that's going to be the playmaking that's very good right there and then moving on to the defense we're going to go ahead max that perimeter defense just for the rating and the, the bronze off ball pass max the steel just to get that bronze interceptor so I mean, this is the highest the perimeter defense in the steel can go on a 7-3 type of build, and we're going to get those ratings, okay? We're going to get more contests with this. We're going to get more steals with this with the interceptor. It's just going to help us out overall so we're not completely gutted in those stats because a lot of 7-3s just don't upgrade these two stats at all, which I think is just too big of a disadvantage. Now, with the block, once again, I already explained in my last build why you should never go over an 87 block. The Hall of Fame anchor is too expensive, and the gold anchor, it, it, there's no difference between gold and silver anchor in this game, I swear. It's just You don't get that many extra blocks, okay? Now, with the interior defense, interior defense, is super expensive on seven threes and to be honest if you are good at just walling up in the paint and you're not going to be jumping for joy then you don't even need interior defense anyways no one's scoring on an eight foot one wingspan seven three center build with your hands up it's just not gonna happen so as long as you get the post lockdown on the silver anchor you should be fine but hey if you want to upgrade the interior defense higher than this go ahead and do so it's going to be very expensive you're going to lose a lot of attributes you're going to see why we do this now i talked about in my last build in this video why offensive rebound is so much better than defensive rebound and this stat alone okay makes this build when i tell you i average like 30 rebounds in the wreck with this build i am not trolling i will sit here and play randoms wreck everyone's missing every shot and i'll there'll be possessions where i'm getting 10 offensive rebounds in a single possession and that's because i'm getting these crazy leap animations where i'm jumping over defenders breaking box outs because i'm seven three with eight foot one wingspan and getting the rebound every time that's because we're going with a 99 offensive rebound the best stat in the game for a center i don't care what no one tells me the best stat in the game for any center you could possibly have is a 99 offensive rebound this is the most overpowered stat in the game I, by default that's going to give us an 84 defense rebound which i think is good enough that's going to give us the hall of fame rebound chaser as well now going from there we're going to be maxing the speed to a 50 which is a lot faster than most center builds maxing the strength to an 84 that for that gold box out beast maxing the stamina to a 96 but not only that bro we are going to get a pretty crazy high vertical for a seven foot three if y'all don't know how, how vertical usually is on seven threes then y'all gonna know that this is very good a 71 vertical on a 7-3 giving us silver rise up silver aerial wizard silver pogo stick and bronze chase out artist and then with the last thing we can upgrade the acceleration to a 41 and then just upgrade the speed ball because that's all it allows us to do and that is the build at a 99 overall now i'm telling you right now i have this build and this build is actually super fun if you like playing center if you play a lot of random wreck i would highly recommend using this build it is even though it can't shoot it is extremely fun to use you could post up with this build you're very good at passing with this build you could throw crazy dots and the rebounds the blocks the interior it's insane what this build does on the board count you will dominate every center you see in the wreck in the pro am with this build on the board count but anyways that's the final stats for this build let's go ahead and move on to the build name and honestly in comparisons are perfect will chamberlain is the perfect comparison for this build also rudy gobert and mitchell robinson giving us the break starter build drop a like on this video if you like this build all right build number eight our last center build of the video i would i would highly recommend this center build if you play a lot of stage if you play threes in the park or twos in the park or whatever game mode you play a lot of threes and twos I would highly recommend this build. This build can also be used as a power forward in the rec or pro-am. I would not use this build as a center in rec and pro-am. It could be used as a center in rec and pro-am, but I would recommend more of a power forward. Anyways, we're going to be, you can go center or power forward to be honest. Honestly, I would go power forward just for the fact of you 
if you do play fives you get put at the power forward position so honestly i'll just go power forward but anyways this act this is another center build that i actually have and i went on a crazy win streak with this center build i'm actually very good with this center build but anyways we're going with six foot eight okay this is gonna be a very fast center build one of those center builds where if you're very good on defense and you get in lanes you you're just very good at moving around the court being a defensive presence this is gonna be a very good build for you anyways and before we adjust the weight we're gonna be going at the wingspan which is gonna be a maximum wingspan and then we can adjust the weight we're gonna be going 233 pounds because that is the minimum weight you can go and still get the 90 strength and yes we are a smaller center build so like i was saying earlier in the video strength is a lot more important as an attribute so we need at least a 90 strength you could go 99 strength but it's just so expensive bro it is too expensive it just guts the rest of your build so honestly we're gonna go 90 strength on this build which is gonna be more than enough so that's gonna be the template we go with right there moving on to the stats my favorite part we're going with a 55 driving dunk now honestly you could go 65 you could go 73 but the dunks are fine for slips i have this build with a 55 driving dunk and when i do quick slips when i slip to the basket i never get blocked i get perfect driving dunk animations and it might be because of my standing dunk rating i don't know who knows but my standing dunk rating is crazy i have a 92 standing dunk if you know how to use the dunk meter then the 92 standing dunk is gonna be insanely overpowered gold fast twitch so our standing dunks are gonna be super fast under the rim and gold precision dunker now this isn't gonna be any kind of post up big build this is gonna be more of a popper build that plays crazy defense and can get hit on the slip and do fine in the paint on the slips okay now we're gonna move on to the shooting and the shooting is gonna be very good we're gonna have the max three-pointer at a 78 and the max mid range oh not the max mid range but an 84 mid range which is gonna give us that gold mini magician if we want to fade and honestly i shoot insane on this build okay i shoot like 75 percent from three with this build it's absolutely insane you get all the shooting bat is needed you get the silver open looks you get the gold mini magician gold guard up silver green machine silver dead eye silver blinders as well uh and you also get bronze asian three so yeah you can actually fade threes with this build if you want to and i do on this build so if you're a good shooter yes you can fade threes with this build moving on to the playmaking role with a 75 pass here see that's honestly all you really need for a power forward build especially on threes and twos and you know if you're playing fives if you're a power forward yeah this is all you really need silver dimer silver break starter and a lot of these bigs that go with these six eight bigs for threes and twos they go with 70 pass act but honestly i know there's a big difference with the silver break starter on threes so i would highly recommend going 75 moving on to the defense though this is when things get crazy the defensive stats on this build are absolutely insane now usually i like to say oh go higher offense rebound than defense rebound that's not even possible on this build really the highest defense rebound you can get is an 86 and the highest offense rebound is a 94 so and you need at least a 92 rebound to get goal rebound chaser you can't even get that on offense so unfortunately you're gonna have to go a higher defensive rebound than offensive rebound on this build okay so we're gonna be going with the 92 defensive rebound to get that goal rebound chaser but uh, after that we don't need to upgrade our offensive rebound like look at i could have our offense rebound at a 47 and still get that goal rebound chaser but you already know how much i love my offensive rebound for the animations we're going with the 84 offensive rebound it's the highest i could get while getting all the other stats i wanted so we're gonna go 84 offensive rebound then with the block we already talked about why you shouldn't be going over an 87 block if you want to know why go listen earlier in the video so we're gonna go 87 block for that silver anchor we need at least a 72 interior to get that silver anchor then with the steel 95 steel for that hall of fame interceptor wow do i get a crazy amount of steals on this build you also get gold glove and gold right stick river this build is a menace defensively not only that we're going to be getting an 87 perimeter defense getting that gold challenger and we're going to be upgrading the strength which is going to help us get that silver clamps as well and gold off ball pass moving on to the physicals we want this center build to be as fast as possible and at an 81 speed this is the fastest bid you could probably make in the game okay 81 speed is absolutely insane then we're gonna be getting the 90 strength for that gold box out beast silver bulldozer silver clamps gold immovable four sword which is very good and gold brick wall then we're gonna be getting that 98 stamina of course for gold workhorse and silver 94 feet and then the vertical we want to have a crazy high vertical for those rebounds for those blocks as well so we're going 80 vertical to help us get gold chase down artists gold rise up gold pogo stick and gold aerial wizard and we're at a 98 overall right now so there's not a much a lot more we can upgrade so what i ended up doing was going with a 71 acceleration to get some off ball badges and to get hall of fame or bronze fast feet because honestly silver spot finder silver speed or slippery off ball 
are pretty nice to have when you're popping on this build you're slip popping if you know what that is you know how to do that it honestly helps a little bit and then after that you're probably thinking okay there's not much you can really do right no 93 defensive rebound to give us that hall of fame box out beast because yeah we already met the 90 strength threshold so we may as well get that hall of fame box out beast and then we went 73 interior defense now we are one off bronze post lockdown so if you want to adjust something you could lower the acceleration if you don't care about these off ball badges as much and easily get that post lockdown but personally i actually like these off ball badges a lot more so we're going to be going with this for our final stats yes this build can finish well off of slips and all that it's not gonna be a post up player but it's gonna be able to finish very well around the rim it can shoot it can fade it can pass the ball and it can play elite defense and is super fast jumping high strong center build for twos and threes and can play power forward for fives as well and i even went on a 126 game win streak with this build in the park i'm very good with this build it's a build i highly recommend and it has perfect shades of tim duncan jaron jackson jr and evan mobley which is exactly what we were going for giving us the two-way spot up glass cleaner drop a like if you like this build build number nine once again we're not going in any particular order but we are finally done with the guard and the center builds and we are moving on to my lockdown builds shout out to all my lockdowns out there because honestly i have two lockdown builds for you guys to end off this video and especially this one is very glitchy one of my lockdown friends using this build and he is honestly one of the best lockdowns in the game anyways we're gonna go ahead and start by making the build once again hand this so you know it's personal preference jersey number personal preference but we're gonna be making this a small forward why do we go small forward because you need the higher weight so for example on like point guard you can only like if you go six six point guard max weight is only like what 230 you go small forward six six max weight goes up to 250 so you need to go small forward for these lockdown builds okay and for this one we're gonna be going six six which is honestly the shortest i would go for a lock um, actually, I do know a lockdown is a 6-5 lockdown, but yeah, personally for y'all, I would not go anything lower than 6-6. You're going to go maximum weight, which is 250 pounds as well, and you're going to be going with 7 foot 3 wingspan. Now, this build is going to unlock all of the body types in the game, so you're going to have, which I would, by the way, unlock if you make this build. You want to be as big as possible on a lockdown. You want your job is to is defend the best player on the other team. So you want to be a distraction. You want to be stopping all these dudes. So this build in particular is very versatile though for a lockdown. So you'll see what I'm talking about when we get into the build. Okay. So max weight, max wingspan, six six. And this is going to be the fastest lockdown we make. And as you guys know, speed is a huge correlation to how fast you move laterally when you're defending the ball. Okay. So having a max 87 speed on this lock is insane 87 speed lock that is crazy that is very good and that's what you're gonna have on this build so we'll, we'll start with the physicals now that i mentioned that so we're gonna go with an 87 speed then we're gonna be going with an 83 strength and the reason i go 83 instead of 84 is because we're saving attributes and there's no reason really to go 84 yeah you could get silver bulldozer but honestly you don't really need that for a lockdown build 83 is going to give you the silver brick wall and the silver movable forcer which is two important badges you want to set off balls the brick wall help but also help by guarding post ups but silver movable forcer is like an absolute must like you need silver movable forcer it's a very good badge when you're making contact when guarding the offensive player then with the vertical you're gonna go with a 74 vertical it's gonna help us get um a chase down artist later on and then we want that 99 stamina which will help us get workhorse in 94 feet which are two very important badges I and mean, you're also gonna go with a 77 acceleration gonna help us get fast feet later on when we upgrade some of our other things and that's gonna be the physicals now let's move on to the finishing now with the finishing we're going with 73 driving dunk this is gonna give us a lot of different dunk packages and it's gonna give us that bronze posterizer which is more than enough for a lockdown now lockdown is gonna be sitting in the corner a lot of the times on offense and when we get called for a back, a back door as a lockdown, we're going to need a standing dunk, okay? So we're going to be going with an 84 standing dunk, which is going to give us gold aerial wizard for those lobs. I had an extra attribute at the end, so I, I had an 83 at first, but may as well go 84 for that. And we get silver fast switch, silver rise up, and silver precision dunker. And then you're also going to have pose control on this lockdown. So when your guard gives you the ball, just to hold the ball, just to give it back to him, sometimes you guys get ripped right well you're not gonna really need to worry about that with the silver unpluckable not only that but if you do backdoor and you have a little guard on you especially in competitive scenes on threes and fives usually the little guards on you you can post them up you could drop step them with gold drop stepper post spin them with gold post spin technician silver back down punisher silver unpluckable this this lockdown is gonna get toxic with it if y'all threes team or fives team needs a two 
and you got the little guard on you okay so that's gonna help a lot now moving on to the shooting we're gonna go ahead and go with the 87 mid-range now this is actually a big deal this is gonna unlock tracy mcgrady base for jump shots and it's by far the best jump shot base in the game it's super glitchy if you guys didn't know about it so having this on a lock is extremely overpowered because a lot of the guard builds that are going to be guarding you in the corner they don't have perimeter defense most of them so you're just going to shoot right over them sometimes with that t-mag base not like that if they're if, even if they do have defense if they're not really paying attention they're ball watching you're gonna be able to get some threes off in the corner with this base okay then we're going to upgrade the three-pointer to an 82 now we do get gold claymore while getting by upgrading to an 82 other than that, there's not a huge reason to go past 76, but we're doing it for the rating. Why not get an 82 three-pointer? It's just going to make it easier for you to shoot the ball. You're going to get a lot of shooting badges through this. Silver green machine, bronze edge of threes. Yes, you can fade with this build. Silver blinders, uh, gold guard up, gold open looks is another big one as well because we have that high mid-range. And yeah, this is looking pretty crazy. Like 87 mid-range on this build is insane. We're also going to upgrade the free throw. If you don't play fives, you don't have to upgrade it, but I'm going to get at least that bronze free points, 73 free throw, which is for me more than enough to make a free throw. And then pass accuracy for a lockdown. You don't need a crazy high pass accuracy. A 70 will do the job. Okay. It's not like you're going to be throwing break starter passes or anything. You just need to get the ball to your guard or to whoever, you know, is running the offense right so that's really it with the playmaking we obviously don't need the ball handle and you want to have a ball handle and you want to be kind of a lockdown that can dribble the ball go make that 166 build that's in the beginning of the video with the 94 per defense 91 steal because that's probably more of your play style but for our actual lockdowns look at just be a lockdown y'all know you don't y'all don't need that moving on to the defense this build is pretty crazy when it comes to the defense. We're going to start with that 94 per defense, giving us Hall of Fame, Challenger, Hall of Fame, Workhorse, Hall of Fame, 94 feet, gold clamps, gold fast feet, Hall of Fame, off ball pass. I mean, goddamn, it's looking crazy. Then we're going to get a 95 steal for Hall of Fame interceptor, gold glove, gold right stick river. Now, you could go 96 to get Hall of Fame right stick river. Don't go 99 steal, by the way. It's way too expensive. It's going to gut the rest of your build. A Hall of Fame glove is not worth it to the point to gut the rest of your build. But if you don't use the right stick, go 95 steel. Okay, if you do, you could consider 96 steel. Now with the block, we are 6'6", so we do not get anchor. And that's why we're gonna be making another lock build to end the video that does get anchor. But you can get, you know, silver chase down artist, gold pogo, or not gold pogo, bronze pogo, the 79 block. And honestly, I had an extra attitude, so I went 80 block just for the rating. Not only that, but I wanna get more like animations to get those blocks. And I wanna be a presence in the paint. So I'm gonna go with 82 interior defense, giving a silver post lockdown and just giving us better animations to defend the drive when we're guarding ball. I wanna to be toxic in the corner, and that's why we have the, the T-Mac base, that's why we have the post control, the standing dunk, the driving dunk, and this is gonna make it even more toxic, toxic when we max our offensive rebound to a 74, giving us rebound chaser, box out beast, and we're just gonna get a, some pretty crazy animations when it comes to offensive rebounds, especially over those guards that are guarding us in the corner that definitely don't have the rebound upgraded. That's definitely going to be useful. Now, after that, you can really choose what you want to upgrade. It's really up to you. I ended up just upgrading the close shot to a 60 just so I could get that silver pro touch and bronze hook specialist. Um, I just thought that was, you know, get a couple extra badges. Nothing else was giving me other badges. But look at this lock build. If, you, if you're going to 6-6 lock, it doesn't get better than this. Now, if you want anchor, we'll show you all the next lockdown build. We'll have anchor. But if you go 6-6, six, six, if you want like the speed lockdown, like for lateral quickness, it's not going to get better than this. This lockdown build is glitchy. You're going to get the biggest body types in the game as well. It, this lock build can really do it all, except obviously dribble. And this is going to give us the perfect shades of Sean Marion, Jimmy Butler, and OG, or not OG, uh, Scotty Barnes. I mean, these guys are old elite defenders as well, giving us the hybrid defender build, okay? Drop a like if you like this build. Build number 10, the last build of the video, another lockdown build that is going to have anchor. Now, once again, these builds were not in any kind of order. We showed y'all guard builds, center builds, lockdown builds, really everything you could possibly need in this game. But anyways, once again, hand this doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. We're going to be going small forward because of the weight thing that I talked about in the first lockdown build. And then we're going to be going, of course, max wingspan. You got to go max wingspan on a lockdown. Like, come on now. Anyways, weight, we're going to be going 233 pounds because this is the minimum weight to get that 90 strength. And we want to be as fast as possible while still getting the 90 strength. Now, now this lockdown build is obviously an inch taller than the last lockdown build at 6'7", so we can get the anchor. But some of the attributes aren't going to be as good, but that's because we are going to be getting that anchor. But it's going to be very similar to that last lockdown build. So 
going to be going 6-7. Now it's on to the attributes. We're going to start with the driving dunk at a 65. This is going to still give us those signature dunk packages that are going to help us just be able to dunk the ball. 83 standing dunk when we backdoor out the corner. We want to be able to get the good standing dunks with the silver fast switch and the 83 standing dunk. That's going to give us the good animations. Then outside of that, we're going to leave the finishing there for now, but we will touch a, a little more later. We're going to be able to get Tracy McGrady on this lockdown build, which is absolutely insane. 87 mid range, which is what's needed to get that. Going to give us gold open looks and gold mini magician. We're also going to max the three out of 79 because why not get it to a 79? You could just go with a 76. But we want the rating. We want to hit as many threes as we can with this build, giving us bronze, age of threes, silver green machine, just a bunch of good shooting badges that you can see overall for this build. And I already talked about why the Trace McGrady is such a glitch. The base, having that base is such a glitch for this build in the other lockdown build I just showed. Y'all know why. Okay, anyways, we're going to leave the free throw for now. Pass accuracy, like I said earlier, you all you need is a lock. It's a 70 pass accuracy. You're not going to be throwing break starter passes. You just need to get the ball to your teammate that's going to be running the offense. And the 70 pass accuracy is going to be more than enough to do that. Moving on to the defense where we start to get some crazy attributes. Perimeter defense is going to be a 90 four hall of fame challenger we may as well upgrade that stamina to a 99 now so we can show that it also helps you get hall of fame workhorse and hall of fame off ball pest and a hall of fame 94 feet and then with this deal once again if you use the right stick go to 96 deal do not go to 99 because you will ruin the rest of your build go to 96 if you use the right stick if you don't use the right stick too much if you don't think it's as important go 95 get the hall of fame interceptor gold glove gold right stick ripper and like I said, this lockdown build will get anchored because it's 6'7". And for my locks that want anchor, go 87 block. There's no reason to go lower or higher. 87 block is going to be very good. You're going to get that silver anchor once you put the interior defense to a 72. And honestly, once again, I'm going to go above and beyond with the interior defense just to get some more block animations and just to guard the interior better. Or we're going to go with an 82 interior defense, okay? That's going to help us get post lockdown as well which is you'll see when i upgrade my strength once again i want to be toxic out the corner y'all we have the standing dunks we have the t-mac base i want them the 74 offensive rebound to get those crazy offensive rebound animation animations over that small guard that's most likely going to be guarding us in the corner or whoever's guarding us in the corner i want that offensive rebound giving us the bronze rebound chaser it's going to give us the box out beast as well once i upgrade the strength we're going to max the speed. These locks, you want to be as fast as possible. And speed is the attribute that affects your lateral quickness on defense. So you're going to need that. We're also going to need that 77 acceleration, giving us gold fast feet. Make it harder for offensive players to blow by. Okay. And then we're going to get that strength 90 gold brick wall, gold and movable forcers. Then the vertical is going to be an 80 on this as well, which is pretty crazy, giving us gold chase down artists. Silver Rise of Silver Pogo and Silver Aerial Wizard. And we're at 98 overall right now. You could kind of choose what else you want to upgrade. I ended up upgrading the free throw a little bit. You can go higher free throw if you play fives. You want the higher free throw, you can probably lower something. Maybe the pass act to like a 68 or something. Get a higher free throw. We also got our um, close shot up a little more because of our mid range. But honestly, between this lockdown and the last, this lockdown obviously gets the anchor, the same shooting. It's a little less finishing, of course, doesn't have post control, but this lockdown is still just as fast. Obviously, like I said, gets the anchor, it has the higher vertical for chase down artists as well, and it has the higher strength, giving us a higher level clamps and a movable force or a brick wall. So it's really up to you. Do you want the higher strength in the block or do you want the more versatile lock that can do a couple other weird things? That's faster. But those are the two best lockdown builds in the game. This one is pretty solid. Honestly, I would probably prefer this one if I were to choose one. But yeah, this is the 6-7 lockdown build. And funny enough, it actually gets the same build name hybrid defender. But the comparisons are pretty nice. Ron Artest, Scotty Barnes, and Mikael Bridges. Hybrid defender, there is your 10th and final build. Drop a like if you like this build. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys think I helped you out at all in this video. And you're also going to need some jump shots and you're going to need to learn how to shoot in this game to go along with one of these builds. Okay, so make sure to go click on one of the videos on the screen to help you guys out with that. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.